Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks at IDF 2014 and I have the world's thinnest tablet in my hands. This is the Dell Venue 8 7000. Now we've been hearing world's thinnest tablet a lot lately so this is currently on the market. Six millimeters thin and it is gorgeous. Dell's done a really nice job with the profile on this and the, U and the unibody aluminum design. Now flipping it over, boom, the first thing you should notice is Nicole. What is going on here? Well, this is launching with Intel's RealSense technology. So this is the snapshot. And this is two 720p cameras. We have one up here that's an eight megapixel shooter. And then on the front, we have a two megapixel. Now what goes on with this tablet and all these crazy cameras is Intel's included uh, some interesting apps for the cameras. Now this is running an Intel processor. It's a Moore's Field quad core 2.3 gigahertz. So we're gonna hop in to this beautiful QHD display and look at some cool, cool, cool stuff because I blow, my, my mind gets blown every time I see this one. So here's a photo. Now you can choose up here that's for selective autofocus. And uh, yeah, there we go. So I can tap around. That wasn't actually the demo that I wanted to show on this photo. That's not so mind blowing. This is <laughs> selective filter. So what happens is I'm just gonna flip this to black and white. And because the three cameras on the back do depth perception, I can pull the color in from the back or I can kind of flip it around, drop the color from the back there and only have that little flower or do it this way where I bring the color and the flower or the plant just up like that. So these are taken at a full resolution. So it does take a couple minutes to kind of, you know, let's see. It takes a couple minutes to have it, to actually process it. So now let's just take a sample shot. There's a, there's, there's a little bit of messing around here with how you hold it. So um, everything's over there. Okay, excellent. So now we have this thing down here that if I cover the cameras, it's like, no, Nicole, we're not getting a good shot here. I'm just gonna angle this this way so we have a little less backlight. Take that photo. Okay, there we go. So I just took a photo. That is blurry as sin. Let me take a better. Let me take, let me take a better photo. All right, let me focus on this guy. I can't focus on the guy. Okay, let's just. There we go. Let's try this. So obviously the sharpness of this photo isn't that wonderful, but the camera technology is. So if I choose to do a kind of selective focus, it takes about. I don't know, 10 to 15 seconds to do the processing on it because it's taking a full HD 8 megapixel photo because it needs a lot of data to be able to tell, you know, the actual depth of things. So now I'm going to focus on this guy. What about this girl? What about this guy? So this is all done in real time and it's all thanks to Intel's processing technology. Let us not save that. And so let's just flip back out. Now let's just flip back. Oh, this way. Oh, it's the top there. Oh, I'm upside down. There we go. And go to motion effects. So because it's a 3D depth camera, it kind of, so the girl's kind of jumping around. And we've seen this with the HTC M8 and their depth camera, but uh, this, this was a little more natural with, with the kind of jumping. So let's head back. There's a couple more here that I want to show you, and that is measure. Just in case you need to measure stuff, like your Subway sub. Did they really give me a 12-inch sub? Now you can find out. And uh, well, we can just look at a couple of photo dazzle. It's kind of neat. Let's find uh, this table over here. There we go. And then we can choose to have this guy run around the table. Now, the depth camera is actually no, like realizing that this is a table. And so then this little guy, he won't run off the table. And so you can see here the rabbit is like popping his head out of the table, right? So it's just, it's just kind of like an interesting and neat way to use things. And the snow globe, again, just really showing off how awesome the tablet is. Oh, you I didn't. Ended up in the gallery. Oh, I'm in the gallery. Let me try again. Here we go. So you can see when the snowflakes fall that they're actually following on like the depth part, right? So that the peppers are high there and their snow wouldn't accumulate on the side. I don't know. I mean, I've been watching the uh, Real Sense technology develop over, over the past almost a year and a half now. 
So um, when I first was a judge in the first Real Sense Challenge, it was a 3D depth uh, camera that went on top of your laptop. So now, and it was huge. It was absolutely massive. So now this is this is a completely different way that Intel is approaching it with like a very slim module that will work with like really any device in any location. So this is really a huge step forward from what we've been seeing from Intel in just a very short period of time. So always excited about new technology and new apps that well, will bring me in and out of focus really. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. <laughs>